right, guys, we're now being joined by the biggest star on Saturday night's Bellator card. He's a number four ranked the Bellator welterweight coming off a big his biggest win against uh, Naaman Gracie. Uh, please welcome Logan Storley. Uh, Logan Storley, my first question for you is how are you feeling uh, today? And uh, did you sustain any injuries from that uh, gruesome fight on Saturday night? Um, I feel great. Obviously, uh, you feel a lot better when you get the W, you know. Um, but no, you know, my face a little beat up, but um, my nothing was wrong with my with my eye or my face and uh, my legs and everything else is all good. So, you know, that's that's the biggest thing, you know, is getting out of there uh, pretty healthy and not having one of these injuries that puts you out for a couple months. Let's talk about the fight a little bit. Uh, you had great success with a counter jab despite a three and a half inch reach disadvantage. Uh, do you feel that Gracie was getting more frustrated as you were accumulating those jabs? I just don't think he could match my, um, my speed in there. You know, uh, me exploding in, hitting my, hitting my two, three shots, and they were just a lot harder shots than he was throwing. You know, he's got a good, uh, I'll, I'll give him credit, he's got a really tricky jab that, it doesn't look like much, but then it starts to kind of add up and it, it kind of comes out of nowhere. And, um, but it, you know, besides the one shot, you know, he never really hit me with anything hard. Um, but I just think the speed and, uh, you know, he was expecting me to wrestle. I really think that's what he, he thought was going to happen. Oh uh, yeah. So Storley. So a lot of people, they're talking about the fourth round. Um, so you got hurt in the fourth round. Uh, people thought that Gracie was going to win. And then you go and surprise the world and you almost beat him. So uh, can you walk us through that fourth round? The crowd, I can tell you, the crowd was going crazy. Um, it was electric in the arena. So can you please, uh, from what you recall, uh, walk us through the fourth round, please? Yeah, you know, I thought it was up three to nothing going into the fourth. Um, but when you're in a fight, everything's happening so fast. It's You know, when you go and watch it, when you're watching a fight, it's so much easier to to kind of really see what's going on compared to when you're in it. And then, um, yeah, things were, you know, he was getting some little shots off. I was landing my, my two, three, two, three, two. Um, and then, uh, I, I ducked my head right into, uh, a hooks. It was like kind of a, it was a weird punch. It was a hook slash like uppercut. He kind of changed it and, uh, it hit me on the outside and it kind of, uh, my face went numb for a second and kind of like, had that little flash mm -hmm. and I turned and then he, you know, came after me and landed some elbows and it took me, you know, 10, 10 seconds to kind of be like, Oh, okay, man, I gotta, I gotta fight out of here. Um, but I, I felt like he got tired, you know, when I shot in, that was just, you know, you're just trying to survive there for a second shot in, we scrambled, he threw a lot of punches. And then, uh, at that point it was just like bite down on your mouthpiece. Let's go do this. And that left hand landed and all of a sudden he was on his legs were wobbly and uh, dropped him. And then I missed that right hand on the ground by, you know, two inches. He moved his head at the last second. Mm -hmm. So when you got hit, right. Was, do you recall, do you, do you remember like clearly recall what was going on or was, was it like a blur in a way? Um, I, I remember getting hit and just in turning here. Cause it was, you know, it shot through a shot through my, my face. And then, um, I remember being on the cage, moving, moving, moving. Like you just got to keep moving. Uh, I don't really remember shooting. I don't remember kind of that, those scrambles. And then all of a sudden I kind of remember coming, uh, back to, uh, landing my shots, you know, survival mode. I remember just, you know, keep moving and keep your hands up. You know, obviously if you, if you take, you know, 10 strikes with your hands down he's going to stop the fight you know mm -hmm. and then uh obviously he was rocked and we were both exhausted at the end of the fourth and we both kind of got our got our win back there in that minute it's kind of crazy yeah you yeah, guys it was didn't, insane you guys didn't slow down at all in the fifth round uh so that brings me to my next question how did it feel going five rounds for the first time in your mma career i mean it was great it was uh i mean it's a lot of work to to wrestle uh for 15 minutes and that's kind of what I've done in some of my fights and it's like that's kind of why I felt the way I felt you know a, a college wrestling match is seven minutes three two two you got out of bounds you got reviews you got challenges you got um potentially dangerous auto you know like so the matches slowed down a lot and guys are you know 
guys are still exhausted. Like that's how exhausting wrestling is. And after the first round in this fight, I went back to the corner. I was kind of smiling and I was like, I'm not that tired. Like this, like it's a lot better when I'm not, you know, redlining in the first two minutes from wrestling so hard, like I've done in some of my fights. And I just, my eyes were reading everything. It was one of those just, it was a, you know, breakthrough performance that I needed. You know, I really, you know, I was being a hundred percent honest. Like I, I found myself of who I was and, and everything, all those years of practice. Cause you know, I listened to some interviews that were before, you know, uh, the fight. I didn't, I don't usually listen to them until afterwards. And most people didn't really believe in my hands. And like, I knew I had it because I've trained with the best guys in the world, but um, I needed to go do it out in, in real competition. And uh, so it was, man, it was just, uh, it was really satisfying. That's what I'll say. It was, uh, I'm happy with it. The camp went great. And uh, it's always nice to get the W, especially a dominating win. And, and now we're, you know, I want that belt next. So we'll see what, what happens. Uh, so Logan, as a fan, I'm watching this fight and I clearly thought that you were winning. Uh, when the fight ended, I thought that you clearly won. Uh, but going to the judge's decision, you know, it's, it's so we have some not very well versed judges sometimes. Were you confident that you were going to win the fight? Or uh... um, I was confident, but I guess what's happened is I've had two split decisions back to back. I lost the one to Yaroslav, and then somehow my last fight, the fight before this was, I won 14 minutes of that fight, and all of a sudden it's a split decision. So, yeah. Before those two, I would have no doubt, but man, it's, you know, kind of what I've been through the last two fights. It's like, I never know what these judges are thinking, you know, and, you know, Gracie's obviously has a name, you know, family background. And it's like, so that kind of worries you a little bit too. And, um, but I was pretty confident that, that I got it done. Um, but we've seen crazier stuff, you know, decisions. And so as soon as they said, you know, just a relief that, you know, um, you got, you got the W and the judges, you know, did their job right. Yeah, it would have been very upsetting. Um, I was looking at the numbers and uh, you almost doubled the amount of sig significant strikes. I believe you landed somewhere close to 200 where he landed maybe 108 or something along those lines. So if it went to him, I would have been very surprised and mad at the same time because our judges, some of them, they need to go, I feel like. But uh, I'm, yeah. glad they got the, I got, I'm glad they got this one right. Well, yeah, it's just, uh, I, you know, for me, it was, I went forward the whole fight. I landed the bigger shots. I stuffed all the takedowns. Um, I dropped him, you know, he hurt me, but I didn't drop and I dropped him and, you know, I, I put his head back quite a few <laughs> times, you know? So it's like, I Fair felt enough. like those things added up over time. And that's why I was pretty, pretty confident. Um, but I just, I've had bad luck, you know, these last two fights with just crazy judges. So I, I was just, you know, relieved once, uh, once they said, it, you know, 50, 45, and then 49, 46. And I was like, there's no way that they give them this. Like if they do, it's just like, what, you know, <laughs> would have been a robbery. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but no, it was exciting. So after, after you spoke with big John, you got down on your knees and uh, exchanged some words with Robbie Lawler. Do you guys remember what you spoke about in that moment? Uh, it was just kind of sitting there and just being like, he, Rob was, you know, Rob was happy for me and, and uh, he's been, you know, part of this journey since we both went to combat club, you know, that was five years ago. We kind of came at the same time. I've known Robbie for a long time, same agent, Dave Martin, our, our agent and uh, Rob's been a huge part of my career. And it was just kind of that really. I don't know, like you found out who you were and that was, you had the win over a top five guy and like, you're doing what the plan was, you know, years ago when I first started this sport was like to be in that position, to fight for the title, to, to beat the top guys and be the man. And, and then to do it in the way that I did it, um, <clears throat> standing up all those, everything Robbie's helped me with those kind of, you know, the, the inner Robbie Lawler comes out and yeah. And it's, so it was like, I don't know. It was just one of those moments where it was, I was just relieved, excited, and, and happy to share that moment with a you know guy who's done so much for me. Um, did anything about Gracie surprise you? Um, did you was he better than uh, you expected, or any worse? Uh, what were your thoughts on his performance? Um, 
he was uh i don't know how to say he was um he was a lot tougher than i than i kind of expected i knew he was good i knew how good he was on the ground but um i didn't really realize that uh man he could take a punch and he you know whereas i watched some other fights where he kind of like would go for the takedown right away you know and he didn't wouldn't stand up or he'd drag it to the ground um so I think we both surprised each other. And we said that kind of after the fight, you know, we just shook hands and, uh, you know, he just said, you know, your hands are a lot better than I thought. And it was like, same, same to you, you know? Um, I think we, we both had the same idea, you know, he thought his hands were better going in. I thought mine were better. And, um, but I, I knew he wasn't going to be able to get to his shots. You know, I just, I knew that, um, unless it was some kind of scramble where he got on top, you know? But I mean, dude, he's tough. You know, he is tough and he's, he's tricky. He's one of the trickiest guys. Cause you, you can't, I guess you can take him down, but you run the risk of going right into his game. Um, so I, I have, I have a, a question for you. So you fought obviously the best in, in the division. You fought the champion of the, uh, the, of the division and the fighting both, who would you say is the more, the tougher fight for you? Well, you know, obviously, uh, Yaroslav has the win over me, but, um, I guess with Yaroslav, it was, uh, his, his wrestling's better, his scrambling's better, but he doesn't present that same, uh, like your, your knees and your arms. Like you have to be so, so, uh, <clears throat> so careful with Gracie, but you know, on the feet, I think Yaroslav kind of has a, you know, his hands are better. Maybe he doesn't hit as hard, but in that fight, you know, I didn't let my, uh, I didn't let my hands go in that, that Amasov fight. You know, that was a completely different fighter, you know, me compared to, you know, a year ago, that's two different guys. So, um, I'm excited to, I'm excited to get back in there with them or MVP or whoever it is. But, um, you know, that's what, that's what I want. I want to prove to the, prove to everyone, you know, I'm, I'm here for real. And, um, I want to be the champ. So I just, uh, just need that shot. So you said last Saturday night that this was the most fun that you've had competing and it was predominantly a stand-up fight. Uh, a few moments ago, you also mentioned that it felt good not to redline your body the way you have in the past for the first couple of minutes of the fight. Uh, so could we expect to see you standing up more, striking more in your future fights? Um, yeah, you know, I definitely, definitely, uh, definitely can see that. But at the end of the day, fights that make sense to take it down, I'm going to take people down, you know, um, fights where, um, it makes sense to stand up and, uh, and mix it up. I, I just need to mix it up a little bit better. And, you know, that fight, I, man, I just, that's so much uh, experience and confidence you just gained in 25 minutes of striking. And, um, but, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I can take down anyone in, in at 170 pounds in the world and mm -hmm. I can, and I can keep, you know, most everyone there. And I just got to do a better job of, of getting to my damage, you know, getting to my damage on top. And uh, now I can let my hands go. And now it's going to be even trickier for them to stop those takedowns and those scrambles. And, but I, you know, I learned a lot about, about where to uh, just kind of the pace of the fight, you know, that that's what I really learned in that last fight. Um, you kind of mentioned uh, Yaroslav. Uh, so in the rematch, what would you say you would do differently this time around? You said you were kind of reserved last time, but specifically, what what, what would you change maybe in terms of training camp, in terms of uh, the tactic that you would use? What would be different this time around? Man, I, I don't think I would change too much. I just, that fight, I dove in on a lot. What cost me that fight, I think, was at the end of the second, I gave up a takedown with 40 seconds left in a close round. And I think that's what cost me the fight <clears throat> that swayed that one judge. Um, and uh, that was me diving in on a single and going on, just taking a stupid shot because we wrestled for, we'd wrestled for nine minutes. You know, once I let my hands go, I knocked his mouthpiece out with the uppercut. I pushed him back, you know, and then in the third round I had a rear naked, you know, was close. Um, but I had him tired. Uh, I just got to let my hands go with them and, and kind of make it a, make it a, you know, all around fight, not just diving in on them and, and spending all my energy right away. 
and that's where I kind of messed up that fight. So it's just little things, you know, um, but the biggest thing for me is, is to put everything together. And, and I, I kind of did that, that last fight. So, uh, in an ideal world, I know you want the title shot. I think it, you made a statement. I think you're the top dog in the division that earned that title shot next. But if for whatever reason, the uh, Bellator doesn't come to you with that opportunity, uh, but they give you an alternative to pick your next fight, who would you pick instead of, uh, instead of getting the title shot? Um, you know, it just depends what happens because you have Lima versus Jack, Jason. Jason's my teammate. Then you have MVP versus uh, Amasov. Um, you know, it's, I, I don't know what those guys are going to do. Cause it's may, right. If those fights are brutal fights, how long are they going to sit out? But I'm also not going to go fight the number eight ranked guy that doesn't make, that makes no sense. Um, you know what I mean? To, to me, it's like, I, I fought, uh, I saw, I've signed the contract for anyone they've sent me during COVID. I, I signed to, I was going to fight Joey Davis and I was going to fight, uh, uh, Andre uh, Kreshkov, uh, Korshkov, whatever. That would be a um, great matchup. <laughs> and then um, I, I signed, and then they sent me Yaroslav. I signed the contract every single time. No questions asked. Signed it. COVID happened. Uh, Joey didn't make the one fight because uh, I think California was completely shut down. And then uh, Yaroslav showed up, you know, and I tore my MCL a few weeks or a few months before that and missed a fight. And I, you know, I didn't ask for extra time. I still showed up. And so I've done everything Bellator's asked and uh, signed every single fight. Didn't, I mean, those are the names that just named off some of the toughest guys. And I signed the contract that day. So um, I'm not, I'm not fighting any of these guys ranked behind me. I'm just, I, you know, I've answered the call every single time. And I just put on, you know, an exciting fight for them, the fans, and I, uh, it was a dominant win. So I just, I want that shot at the title and, and that's kind of where I'm at with everything right now. So, yeah, I think you made a statement. I don't think there's, uh, anyone else low in the rankings that you should be fighting before that title shot. So hopefully, uh, the winner walks out unscathed and has a quick turnaround so you can get back in there as soon as possible. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we really appreciate having you on. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to our audience before we wrap it up? No, just, uh, you know, thank you to, to everyone. I, you know, received a lot of, a uh, lot of love after this fight, which is kind of nice compared to some of the other fights when I, you know, uh, take people down. So it was, it was cool. And, uh, you know, I appreciate the, the MMA fans around the world that reached out, uh, you know, it really means a lot to me. Yeah, and we appreciate, uh, on behalf of MMA fans, the great performance that you put in. Uh, we were, like we said, we were sitting cage side, um, one of our first times sitting all the way up close on such a big event. Uh, so you, you guys really put on a great show for all of us, and uh, thank you for that. Can't wait to see you back yeah. in there. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, man. Take care. All right. See you guys.